Honey, I'm home. Honey? Honey? Hello? Sister Emily, how are you? Be blessed, God. Um, quick one. Have you seen my wife recently? Okay. All right, thank you. I'm just, just calling. All right. Sister Joy, how are you? I, I just got back from Abuja. I am, I am trying to, I've been trying to call my wife and her phone is at home. I, I don't know, have you seen her? Okay, that's fine, thank you. Okay, I'll let you know when, I'll let you know when she calls me. Sister Pauline, how are you? Yes, um, have you seen my wife? No, okay, um, no, I'm, I'm just, I, I'm, I'm trying, I've just got back from Abuja and she's not at home, and her phone is at home as well. Okay, thank you very much. I will know if she, when she gets back, I'm sure she's not, she's not far off. All right, bye.
had plans for the weekend? Sleep. Sleep, sleep, and more sleep. The orders came in from HQ. Whoever is in there has got some serious connection. Yeah, I said so. I can't even tell from the look of the house. I mean, tell me, how much do you think this house was worth? Too much. Harrison Bognor? Yes, sir. I'm Detective Adobe Modi. This is my colleague, Detective Yusuf Aliu. Hello, sir. I've been expecting you. Where did you go? I was at a... I was in Abuja as a guest speaker at an event. An event, you say? What kind of event is it? A ministerial retreat. I'm a pastor. And you were there for how long? For four days. Four days. And, um... You kept in touch with her in those four days? Constantly. Um, I even spoke to her before I boarded. You could check the phone log. We will. Before your departure, were there any lingering issues? No. No misunderstanding of any kind? None that I can think of. We have known each other for eight years and been married for six. Interesting. Uh, my wife and I, we've been married for 10 years. But we don't always agree. Do I love the mother of my kids, though? So. Mm. It's normal. But we have our own ways of dealing with our own issues. Mm. Even when she's uh, wrong? Especially when she's wrong. I see. I mean, as uh, husbands, you want to... Share some light, please. Well, a simple apology goes a long way. I see. Perhaps I should give that a try. But I know my wife. She would abuse it. Um, what about the kids? We don't have any. Um, mind if we take a look around? Sure, absolutely. Yeah, please. Want to lead? Yeah, sure. Those are the most. I told you nothing was missing. Hmm. Oh, she's got good taste in perfumes. I'm on a case. Can we talk about this later? Phil, please, don't start. <clears throat> I've got to go. I'm sorry. I have to go. Hey. Was that the fiancé? Trouble in paradise? <clears throat> Nothing we can't handle. Okay. Well... I hope he knows that uh, he's very lucky to have a woman like you. Yusuf, please. What? It's the truth. He uh, planned a weekend getaway for us mm -hmm. and he's been talking about it for months. All I had to do was show up, but here I am. Okay. You still think I'm the lucky one? Yeah.
didn't find anything. There were no signs of forced entry or struggles or whatsoever. Mm. Mm. Except the good pastor here took uh, the initiative of cleaning up after himself, you know? Mm. Well, I've seen enough episodes of CSI not to do something that stupid. <laughs> <laughs> of course you have. So, so when do we mobilize? For? For what? My wife is out there somewhere. We need to put out some kind of word, mm -hmm. right? It will be counterproductive. Exactly. Isn't that standard procedure? If we're dealing with a missing person, perhaps. But we still need to get a clearer picture before deciding on a cause of action. Though. My wife was taken. There is no evidence to support that claim. There is nothing on ground to prove that she didn't believe on her own accord. Well, she didn't. Well, is there something you're not telling us? Nothing that you don't already know. Listen, I know enough. I've heard enough on the news about abduction and kidnapping. It's been two days. If she's been held captive, we'll be deep in ransom negotiations right now. Exactly. Plus, there's a lot of guards at that gate. And it would take more than a small army to come into this estate. Do you have enemies, Mr. Boknoir? Don't we all? Well, can you think of anyone that would want to hurt you or your Look, wife? I try to deal as fairly with everybody as possible. I am, I win souls for Christ. And if you're not doing that, I'm minding my own business. Your business. Excuse me? Your side also? Exporting. But look, I don't consider winning souls, preaching the gospel. A side hustle. Oh. Okay, I was called and I answered. Mm. I don't regret that. Okay, called pastor. I apologize. You must have spent a fortune on this property. Business must be very good. Well, I am blessed. Mm. Oh. And does your wife play an active role in the business? Mm -hmm. Well, if he means splodging money on designer shoes as an active role in yes she does well what about the church and what about the church well does she command the same level of influence that you do look we are all equal in the sight of god okay if lola was dissatisfied with her role look she is a loving and caring wife okay and anybody she encounters she touches them positively. She is the epitome of a good wife. Look, do what you can, detective. Help, help me bring my wife back. I'm lost without her. Indeed. Okay. What do you think? He's calm. Too calm. Even when I try to push his buttons. Hmm. We're going to be here a while. Thank God I'm wearing my comfortable shoes. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I'm trying not to. Truthfully though, mm. he got to you with the whole I love my wife speech. Mm. It's not that. But you and I know it's usually the closest person, right? Can we at least check out his alibi before jumping into conclusions? Okay. I get on it. Where are you going to? I want to know who I'm dealing with. <laughs> what are you doing? You are trying to what? You check. Trying to. <laughs> Do what? Do what? Do what? Do what? <laughs> Do what? <laughs> 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 
Last time I saw her was, I think on Friday, I'm not sure. Is there a problem? She okay? Her husband reported her missing. Oh my God. Please remain calm. Do you know how much you pay for security in this estate? You are telling me a woman got adopted and you want me to remain calm? That's not what I said, okay? We're still trying to establish what... I need to call my husband. Please put the phone away. What? Put the phone away now. Like I said, there's no need to panic, okay? We're still investigating, and I'm going to need your full cooperation. Can I help? Let's start with the name. What's yours? Jane. Okay, Jane. Uh, were you friends with Mrs. Bucknor? This man and we've at each other any time our eyes meet. But will I leave Junior under our care on a busy day? Not a chance. Why is that? You don't have kids. I'm aware of that. She's been married for six years. Does that sound normal to you? Okay, uh, thank you for your time. Should I be worried? Like, are we safe? Just go back inside and lock the door, okay? There's something off about him. Well, why do you say that? This is between the both of us, right? Sure. I've caught him staring. At who? My wife! I'm no expert, but that sort of thing is not uncommon with men, right? Not when he's a pastor. At least, he claimed to be. Okay. Look, if you must know, this happened more than once. Mm. Okay, aside that, is there any other thing you observed? Um, I don't think so. You see, folks around here like to mind their own business. Okay. Thank you for your time. Okay. Wait, wait. Mm -hmm. I just remembered something. Okay. There was a time he borrowed a hammer from me and he has not returned it in now. A hammer? Yes, a sledge hammer. Okay. Thank you. But. Please, let me get it back. Hmm? You know it's a sledgehammer. She probably ran off with her lover. And you know this how? Well, I know when a woman is promiscuous. Call it a gift or whatever. Okay, so it's in the eyes. What is? One look in her eyes, and I could tell she's a slut. Hmm? Like slut. Hmm? Okay, did you witness any arguments or fights? Arguments? Um, no. But what? Let me tell you something. Last December. I took some food over to the Bucknos. They received it well and seemed appreciative. Just for me to see my food in the garbage, two days later, they are not nice people. Okay. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. Thank you. Um, good afternoon. Evening. I was wondering when you were going to come around. I am. I know who you are. Word gets round in our little slice of paradise. What do I call you, sir? Toby. Okay, Mr. Toby. I believe you know why I'm here. Someone didn't come home. <laughs> How well do you know the Bucknors? I've only lived here a month. That's plenty of time to form an opinion. 
Well, she's hot and he's a good actor. Why do you think he's acting? I know when someone is, you know. I assume I don't. Okay. If I was a pastor, I'd do the same. Just to uh, keep the image right. You've said a lot, but you've given me nothing. People are not always what they appear to be. But you already knew that. You live next door to them. And you saved the best for last. Did you hear anything? I'm always hearing things. You have to be a bit more specific. Lovers, spats, perhaps? I don't make other people's problems mine. Hmm. Have you had any interactions with a couple? Uh, well, apart from the occasional hello, not really. So you're not friendly with them? I'm not friendly with anybody. Oh. You've been of tremendous help, Mr. Toby. Thank you. Not a problem. What do you think happened to her? What I think doesn't count. It's what I can prove. Is he a suspect? Excuse me? Oh, I know how this works, detective. The better half is always at the top of the list. If such a list exists, you realize you just topped your way up here, right? He's innocent, trust me. You'll be wasting your time. Hmm. I know that we're all capable of committing a crime, but uh, I can bet my left knot is not the one. Humor me, please. Why would I want to do that? Oh, you seem to know an awful lot about my job. I don't know much. All I know is that he loves his wife. I'm afraid you know a little too much for comfort, Mr. Toby. Good luck with your investigation, Detective. <laughs> Okay. Right. Oh, I see. I agree. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so our oh, alibi just checked out. Mm -hmm. He was uh, lodged at the Carlton's for the duration of his stay. Okay. What did you find? <laughs> A whole lot of nothing. People do leave, you know. I know this lady, she had three kids in that marriage. She got up and left. The children didn't stop her. But this is really weird. Hmm. Mm -hmm. No signs of false entry. No struggles. The SS security is watertight. I mean, with our IDs, they still ask us to open our boots. I don't think there's anything to pull out of our play here. So what are you saying? Hmm, I'm saying perhaps we put out our face out there and someone would definitely make a sighting. Mm -mm. What? I'm disappointed. I mean, come on, there's nothing here for us. This is just a waste of our time. Really, Yusuf? So what is worth our time? Because I miss the guy who did shy away from actual police work. I could really use him right now. If you want of the case, make the phone call and go home. But if you decide to stay, I expect that we see this thing through together without the nagging. I'm not nagging. We are wasting time. I will be calm when my wife has killed me. Really? You know, maybe I'm beginning to think that it was a mistake actually calling the police. We're trying to be as thorough as possible. Really? First, you suggest that she just hopped and she left. So we haven't ruled that out. And then you go tell me that she can't, she contain the situation, and then you go knocking on neighbors' doors, alerting to the fact that my wife is missing. But it's not much of an investigation if you don't ask questions. Exactly. So what next? You label me a suspect? I did see Gone Girl, you know. <laughs> Unbelievable. You actually think I would have something to do with my wife's parents? I was the one who called your superiors. 
Do you miss the fact that I was in Abuja? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, calm down, good pastor. I mean, it's not uncommon for people with power to enlist for help just so they don't get their hands dirty. Come on. I love my wife. You did? Love? I love my wife, okay? And I want her back here with me. Then let us do our job. How have I not been cooperative? You can do more. How? Please, tell me. Let you in where? Disclosure. Is she supposed to be here? No, oh, I didn't ask her to come, but she's aware of the situation. Mr. Bokno, we've been through this. I do not need your permission to let a bonafide member of my congregation into my own home. As you wish. Sister Jenna. Hi. I'm How are you? I'm fine. <gasps> Are you holding up? I'm okay, considering. Um, it's Jennifer, right? Yes. This is an active investigation. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. But I came to help. It's okay, just do what she's asked. It's police business. Okay. Um, I will, I will call you, okay? Okay. But have you had anything to eat? I'm okay. I could bring food. No, no, it's okay. Sure? Don't worry. She's in my prayers. She'll come back to us. Don't text me to call me if you I need won't. anything. Bye. See, nobody died. Where are you going to? Yes, mind you if I ask you a few questions. Okay. You're close to the family? I like to think so. And you're also a member of their church? Yes, I am. Okay. Where was the last time you saw Mrs. Bokno? In church. Last week Sunday. Hmm. And Mr. Bokno? Wait. Is this an interrogation? <laughs> You'd have to be a suspect to be interrogated. So am I? <laughs> no, you are not. Fine, so what are the questions? Well, I'm just trying to get some insight. Listen, he's my pastor. And our relationship is purely spiritual. Is that so? He's in the hug. What do you mean? Oh, my dad. Did you say something? No, I really. 
But babe, you know I like hugging you. Yeah, I know. I'm serious. Okay. You know, sometimes I actually feel you're scared of her. I'm not. I just don't want to risk the exposure, you know, of this. <laughs> exposure. Maybe I should be the one you should be scared of. What do you mean? Nothing. What am I saying? You know, if this gets out, I have nothing to lose, right? Kido. Okay. Maybe I should stop seeing you for a while. Come on, babe. I was so kidding. Babe. I was choking. I'm sorry. Now you overreact. Listen, I don't want to see you near the house again. What? Why are you going to? Babe, I was joking. Say, I'm not sleeping with the man. You can ask him that yourself. Well, if I were his wife, I would be uncomfortable with all the uh, hugging. I'm a hugger detective. I see. Hmm. Are we done here? Oh, yes, we are. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> okay, get in. Are you okay? It doesn't add up for me. Okay. What's that? She graduated top of her class, bachelor's and master's. Mm. Secured employment in a multinational. Yeah. And then they get married and she throws it all away to become a full-time housewife. With no kids. Strange, right? Very. You know what else doesn't add up? Mm. His finances. Yeah. Just so that now. Let me get on here. You guys have no right going to my financial records. <laughs> You're a rich man, Mr. Bokno. The last time I checked, that was not a crime. Well, some of your financial transactions piqued our interest. One of which is uh, where you transfer funds from your church account to your personal corporate account. I don't believe I owe you any form of explanation. It's my money. Now I'm confused. Is it your money or the church's? Okay, now you're reaching. Okay, and I will not entertain that. Okay, this is just being stupid. What are you hiding, Mr. Pokemon? Is it hush money? Are you being blackmailed? What do they have against you? All right, I don't have to listen to all this. <laughs> Detective, get out of my way. Is this a joke? I assure you it's not. Keeping secret is not in your best interest. And harassing me is in yours. Huh? Be sure I will bring this up with your superiors. Whatever happened afterwards, you have yourself to blame. Turn around, sir. You want to arrest me? What are the charges? Please do as you have said, sir. Turn around and put your hands behind your back. I hope you know what you're doing. Coffin. Oh, sit. Huh. You know this is not going to go unpunished. You're a person of interest who has been uncooperative. Is that your best defense? Well, let's see how that holds up. Are you ready to answer our questions? Are you going to beat it out of me? Oh, come on, Mr. Buckner. Help us. The sooner we figure out where your wife is, the faster I can go to my own wife. Please. Well, this is all about my wife. Okay. A couple of years ago, I made a poor financial decision. Who's we? The church. 
we invested in what was supposed to be a sure investment, but it ended up bankrupting the church. And I was saddled with the responsibility of getting the church out of it. Hmm. So what did you do? I did what I needed to do, take out a loan. From who? H.P. Holdings. But that is your company. Yes, it is. Wait, 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 wait. So you've been stealing money from your own church? There would be no church without my investment. Hmm. So, did she know? It doesn't really qualify for bedside talk. Could you take this coughs off, please? We're not done. In the last year, you made three out-of-state trips, not including your Abuja retreat. I don't hear a question. You flew solo three times and checked into luxury hotels? I still don't hear a question. Were you having extramarital affairs? You guys are unbelievable, you know. Just answer the question. I love my wife. When has that ever stopped anyone? Could you please take these cuffs off? Did she know about the affairs? You know what? My lawyer will have a field day in making your lives very uncomfortable. You're avoiding the question. Get the stuff off of me right now! Uncle him. You sure about that? Just answer the question, man, and we'll be gone. Surely, a suspension is the last thing I need right now. He won't. Truthfully, we just treated this guy like a criminal in his own house. But he just confessed to a crime, didn't he? Is that why we're here? Okay, let's focus. What have we learned so far? Really? The man of God is ungodly. His wife found out. And she took a walk. Biddy bang, biddy bang. That's it. Hmm. Is it ever that simple? But it shouldn't be this complicated. Hmm. What about her records? What about that? She also made out-of-state trips, right? Yes, she did. Hmm. So, from what I'm looking at, she booked three flights in the last year. Destination? Okay. Uh... Asaba, Calabar, and Abuja. Mm. Do me a favor, would you? Okay. Cross check those days with that of her husband. Fine. They match. So every time he was out, she was to accept mm. uh, one. What was that? Uh, Yes, the Abuja retreat. The Abuja retreat? Yes. Mm. You know, there's a whole lot of work that goes into finding this home. Sure. And you can't rush the process. Um, I and my wife here, yeah, we were friends for what, three years? Four, yes. Four years of friendship. Before I finally gathered the courage to ask her out. And she said mm -hmm. no. No, no, I actually had a picture of the kind of man I wanted to be with. <laughs> and um, obviously, he wasn't that man at that time. He didn't fit the picture. But then he was persistent. I had to be. I mean, she was my missing rib. And then you kept stalking me. I won't describe it that way, actually. So there was this particular day I was having um, a date with an admirer and I raised my head and I saw this young man walking towards me. Was that a date? Oh, please don't say that. I, Tell me you didn't know that was a date. I, I thought it was two adults coming together for a good conversation over dinner. And you suddenly appeared there at the time. Exactly. <laughs> 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 oh, 
Pastor. Thank you so much. You know, I feel so reborn right now. Oh, yeah? Yes. Like you totally changed my perception about love. Well, that's what we do. Yeah. Thank you so much, sir. Yes. Can I hug you? Oh, I'm sorry. Please, can I hug you? Oh, sure. Yeah, I have. Yeah, I love that. Okay. You guys are you guys are an inspiration to me. Yeah, yeah. the both of you. <laughs> yes. It's fine. So, Thank you so much. Yes. I should leave you guys now. Oh, alright. Yeah. Thank Please you so much. You will never leave. Of, of course. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Now you're blessed. <laughs> Yes. Yes. Bless you. <laughs> Do you like her? Who? Oh, Jennifer? Mm -hmm. Please, come on. She's beautiful. Mm -hmm. She's okay. I'm very well endowed. But why? I didn't notice. Are you joking? I'm serious. I didn't notice. Why? Because I am fixated on you more. Yeah, you. right. <laughs> <laughs> So, have you made up your mind yet? Oh, yes. I, I was thinking uh, Asaba. Asaba? Yes. Why Asaba? Because I've never been there. Well, there are lots of places that you haven't been to before. Wait, do you have anything against Asaba? No, nothing against Asaba. So, okay. Have you, what about you? Me? Mm -hmm. I'm thinking I want to do Potarkot again. Wait, wait, wait. I thought you were not supposed to do that. Says who? We we can't do that. I mean, are you having a rethink? Oh, uh, seriously? Mm? It's too late. That's about it is. That's about it is. No, no, no. <laughs> I want to Ow! I heard now. That's good. Mm. I want to change my mind. No, you can't. Oh! No. What? You said a seven. What do you want to change? No, my mind? no. I want to change my mind. Who's gonna? Mm -mm. Who's gonna pick? No. Me. We just don't want you to pay. No, no, you're not going again. That's it. That is it. You're not going anywhere. You stay in the house where I go to the park. Uh -uh. You'll go next year or two years. No. So how did it go last night? He's giving me exciting treatment. Really? Oh, come on. That's so childish. Well, he has every reason to be angry. Rubbish talk. Didn't you know what he was getting into? I mean, duty called you and you had to answer. You see, all this you're going through right now is the same reason why I'm single. I can't stand the drama. Hmm. Yet you posed married to Mr. Bokno. I hate fucking detective Ada. How do you think we got him to talk? Look, can we just save all this relationship talk until after the case? All right, all right. Well, good morning, Mr. Bokno. Good morning, Mr. Bokno. You're back. Like we never left. I see you helped yourself to breakfast. Well, um, I try not to, you know, stay away from it. You know what they say. The important bill of the day. Exactly. You should have some. But I'm okay. That's my wife's stuff. It's really nice. She has good taste for that. Hope you slept good. I'm trying to bottom me up. I'm still going to make that call. Hmm. You must think you're the only one with friends in high places. I know a couple of guys at the EFCC who have a hard on for thieving pastors. Pastor? Another one of your sisters in Christ? So do I need your permission to open my door? It's your house. Yeah, well, it's my name on the deed, but you guys seem to have control of my house. He's a funny man. Hmm. No, I think we should. Hi. How's it going, Pastor? Okay, please come in, sit down. Thank you. I take it you've met Detective Yobi and her partner. Yes, I have. Good morning, Detective. I just came by to 
Find out how you're doing, how you're holding up. I appreciate that. Please sit down. Thank you. Well, uh, Toby, is, it is, right? Yes, it is. We have some biscuits. Do you want? No, I can't. I can go get it. No, I can't. Oh, sorry. It's his wife's. It's really nice. I don't doubt that, but I'm lactose intolerant. Is that a thing? Yes, it is. Ooh, it must be really tough. It is, but I'm used to it. I have to get going now. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I appreciate that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Goodbye, detective. I can get you the biscuit again. No, thank you. We're neighbors, and it's the least I could do. Thank you. Thank you. What are your plans? I mean, you do have a plan, right? I would like to hear it. Oh, I'm sure you would. You don't have a plan, do you? Are you ready to answer our questions? I am tired of answering them. Mm -hmm. Were you having affairs, Mr. Boknor? I won't be the first man to have an affair in this city. <laughs> Is that a yes, Mr. Boknor? You booked your flights the same time as you booked hers, right? Detective, I take it you have never been married. When you were in Port Harcourt, she was in a suburb. Because if you had been married, you would understand how hard it could get. And in July, she was in Benin. When and the you were... doctor tells you that the love of your life cannot conceive again because of an accident you had the prior year. <laughs> So she knew about your escapades. You escapist. begin to question everything and then doubt sinks in and then you can't get a divorce because people are looking up to you. So it didn't bother her because she was in on it too? I love my wife hmm. and I will do anything to keep her happy. So spending all those money on flights, was it to make it more interesting? Because we have a reputation to protect. Okay. Well, are you judging me now? Okay, Mr. Bokno. Mr. Bokno, you should have been honest with us. I don't see what all this has to do with my wife's disappearance. Uh, okay, so maybe she got tired of your godly ass and decided to go kick it off. You yeah. don't know my do wife it. like that. But, but, but it's a possibility. It is not. Stuff. You're certain? I am. Okay, Pastor. We are the detectives. Can you see them? No. Thank you. Do you by any chance feel old? Because I do. I feel very old. What are we doing? What are we doing here? Can I have some time alone? Yeah? Sure about that? Okay. You can't do that here. Yeah. I stage rules. Something you need? You said to come forward if I remember something. I did. This was a mistake. It's really none of my business. Wait. Let's hear it. Two weeks ago, I was on my way to the gym. That's it? Yes. It's probably nothing. But with the way they stared at each other. Flirtatiously? No. That's a bit more intense. Hmm. And you couldn't make out what was being said? I didn't see their lips move. Just as. But like I said, it's probably nothing. Hmm. 
Thank you, Jane. You've been of tremendous help. What did you just say? You heard me. Are you saying he's now a person of interest too? Yes, in light of new information. What new information from a nosy housewife? It's actionable intel, Yusuf. Ada. Please, can you just do as I ask? Okay. Thank you. Have you? Okay. No problems. I'll get to it. Um, Ada will be, right? Yes. Oh great. Um, thank you very much for coming. Okay. Um, so you say you're interested in buying? Yes, I am. All right, I mean Oh, some wholesome timing, great one, because um, we have really new, amazing developments that you would love. Actually, there's one I spotted. It just took my breath away. Beautiful. I mean, in which of our portfolios did you spot that one? This one? Um, no, not this one. Oh. Um... Yes, yeah, he was in the middle of negotiations with a couple before our guy reached out. What? Are you serious? Mm-hmm. And he was not only interested in that particular property, he paid twice the asking price to secure it. Oh, my days. He moved in immediately the papers were signed. How rich is this guy, man? So after everything I've said, that's what interests you? Now there's something definitely up. Are you still on him? Of course. I'm still on him. Okay. Stay on him and update me, okay? All right. Yeah, I got you. It's moving. All right. What was that noise last night? We have a new neighbor. Oh, finally. Please <laughs> tell me it's not a big family. No, it's just a guy. A guy? Yeah. I got a glimpse of him yesterday. Mid-30s, good-looking guy. Hmm, you must be loaded then. <laughs> I'm off. Okay. Have a later. nice day. You too. Uh. <gasps> oh. Where have you been and what's going on? How old do you know your neighbor? Which one? Toby. He moved in about a month ago. Why? You get along well with him? You're here. He's the only one that's bothered to come and check upon me. I mean, do you think he has anything to do with this? Hmm. They were spotted together. Are you suggesting he has something intimate with my wife? I'm saying they were spotted together. He lives in this building. On a property he paid twice the actual worth. Or maybe he likes the estate or he just likes to make poor decisions. I don't know. Listen, my wife would not do something that stupid. Hmm. Sorry, I've got to take this. Phil, this is not a good time. Please, can you stop yelling? Hello, beautiful.
You stalking me? Well, I would be lying if I said that didn't cross my mind. My boyfriend is going to be here soon. He's a very jealous boy. I don't blame him. You're still here? You didn't ask me to leave. What do you want? To get to know you. Is that all? I'm sure you know it's not. Then say it. I want you. Toby. You don't look too happy to see me. What are you doing here? I'm just getting acquainted with my neighbor. My husband? Won't be back till six-ish. You're so beautiful. Look, I, I don't know whatever stupid game you're trying to play, but stay away from me. Stay with for me. Hey. Yeah. We should take a trip. We we'll just got back from work. You know, I mean together as a couple. So where do you want to go? Anywhere, maybe Ghana. Ghana. Anywhere. Mm, as much as I like that, I've got a lot going on at the moment. Come on now, you can spare weeks, like few weeks. <laughs> Listen, as much as I like that, I don't have the time. Okay? <sighs> Maybe next year. Leave me alone. Ah, okay. <clears throat> Good night, Mommy Gio. You don't leave, you don't leave, leave, leave it.
Come on, pick up. What do you have? Yeah, I'm on him. He went shopping. He bought foodstuffs, that's all. Yeah, I have, actually have the receipt here with me. But wait, seriously, you think we're not wasting our time on this guy? Yeah, all he got was food. I, I got a paper to me, hold on. Yeah, just food. Oh wait, hold on. He bought biscuits too. The same one he doesn't eat. Yeah. I'm on him right away. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, yeah. Look at this guy. for a few days. Why don't you send someone? Come on, you know it doesn't work that way. What's really going on with you? You've been acting strange. Oh, I'm surprised to even notice. You know you can talk to me, right? Don't you have a flight to catch? I think blocking my number was a smart move. Toby, what do you want? You keep asking questions you already have the answer to. Nothing is going to happen. I am a married woman. Yeah, but that didn't stop you before. You can have anyone you want. You can have any woman you want. Exactly. Are you not even listening to me? Look, even if you were the last man on earth, I will not leave my husband for you. You had just one night. One night and that was it. One night. Get out of my car. Get out! Mr. Boknor? Mr. Boknor? Mr. Buckner. Mr. Buckner. He's not here. I can't find the pastor. What can I do for you, Richard? I can't seem to find Mr. Buckner. Or maybe he stepped out. You saw him? No. I literally just got in. But I'll keep an eye out. Thank you. Anything else? Uh, can I trouble you for a cup of coffee? No. I'm, my, it's not a good time. The house is a mess. I understand. Have a nice day. Sure.
<laughs> Where were we? You think you can just waltz in here and save your damsel in distress? Oh, <laughs> The nerve. What? Oh. You want to say something? You want to say something? You want to say something? Talk. Why don't you take this rope off? And face me like a man. You really think you can step to me, old man? Oh, I know I can. Now, I'm really curious. Did you tell him about your conquests? Is that what gets you off? Drop it, Toby. Well, well, well. If it's not the little creep. Hello, creep. Was it the biscuits? I smelled her all over you. Oh, the things we do for love. Well, it's best you drop it now, boy, before you get yourself hurt, you know? You can't trail for shit, because I spotted you twice. Right, what if I told you that I let you spot me twice? Let's talk about this, Toby. It's not. You're hurt. I get that. Yes, I was hurt the moment I woke up. And she was not in bed by my side. I spent months looking for her. I went there every single day, but she was gone. And then one day I turn on the television and I see there's a coverage of some religious conference where ministers are in attendance with their spouses. And you can imagine my surprise when I saw the love of my life in the arms of another. You will not believe the price I paid just to get close to her, but she would have nothing to do with me. And that is what they do. They manipulate people, they hurt people, they use people. That is what they do. I agree. But it doesn't have to end like this. You don't have to throw your life away. Or even die. They can't keep getting away with it. Toby, if you pull that trigger, you're going to jail. Yes, or die. <laughs> Toby, stop it! Hey, 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 hey! Toby! Put it down now! Put it down! Put it down now, Toby! <laughs> 
Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> They found antipsychotics in his house. He was a deeply troubled man. You know, I can't thank you enough, Detective. Don't thank us. Because of this twisted little game of yours, a man is dead. And that's something you're going to have to live with. Yeah, lessons learned. I really hope so. You know, I'm going to put in a good word with your superiors. You guys did a fantastic job. Mr. Bugnaw, can I have a word with you? Yes, Detective. Um, thank you for being a hero and uh, sorry for the misconceptions. It's okay, you got your... Oh, my days! <sighs> wow, I'm so glad that it's all over right now. Yeah, me too. Yeah, <laughs> at least now you have time to patch up things with the fiancé. I broke up with him. You did what? I followed your advice. No. I, did, I didn't say break up with him. Yeah, well, it was the right thing to do. Oh, my days. Wow. Okay, how do you feel now? Relieved. Relieved? Mm-hmm. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. So I can now say I would um, allow you buy me lunch. Ha, ha, ha.